New into stock we have a Seat Leon. It's a 2 litre TDFR, 5 door, 2010 60 plate. It's one owner from new and it's done 59,825 miles. Um, fuel economy, urban 40.9, extra urban 64.2 and combined is 53.3. Nought 60 time of 8.2 uh, seconds, top speed of 133 miles an hour and it's a 168 brake horsepower engine. Uh, so it's quite a, a nippy vehicle. MOT till 15th of December 2018. Um, finished in a, a lovely colour. I think it's called Speed Blue Metallic with uh, grey uh, FR Sports interior. The uh, built up sport seats, really, really nice. Good looking car and uh, great to drive. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Before we set off, I'll uh, show you the service history. Um, <clears throat> service history's got a little bit messed up somehow, uh, but it can be explained. Uh, somehow the very, very important service history, and somehow the person who looks after the service books uh, always seems to take less care than anybody else in the dealership. Don't know why that is. Um, 25th of the 11th, 2011, at 6,615 miles. Uh, you can hardly read the stamp there, but it is a Seat garage, and I think the name changed to this Pentrith Limited. Before that, it was Henford's Garage. So that's that was the Seat dealer's name. Then on to the 15th of the 2nd, 2013. Fifteenth of the 2nd, 2013, 13288. And that uh, was done at the Seat dealer as well. And then 8th of the 11th, 2013, at 17286, at however you pronounce that, Seat. Now then, here's where it gets a bit tricky. Um, I've no reason to doubt it hasn't been serviced. We have tried to get in touch with this garage, but uh, to, to no avail so far. The owner started getting it serviced at North Wales Sayat, so I'm, I'm assuming that these people must have lost the franchise. Um, that was done on the 27th of the 1st, 2017 at 45,466. But when we rang those, obviously this, this chap's been having it serviced every year religiously and then there's a couple missing. They said they'd also serviced it on the 21st of the 11th, 2014 at 26419. So it looks like there's a, a couple of stamps missing, but I have no reason, I, I can't prove it's been serviced, but I have no reason to see that um, or see see why this owner would suddenly stop having his car serviced every year and then start having his car serviced every year again. So we've just done it anyway at 59.838, so we, we know it's okay. That was done on the 27th of 6, 2018. So that's the service history. Um, honestly, bane of my life. Bane of my life. I, before we go, Height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. And you can see there it's got the contrast red stitching which matches this trim. The, the trim, according to the Fiat brochure, is called Doggo trim, which I, I was quite curious as it, it doesn't sound too good, but it's um, in Spanish, it's something to do with a breed of dog. Or So anyway, we'll see, but it's nice built up at the sides, finished in charcoal with again the, the contrast stitching and the FR embroidered in the in the backrest. Aircon's working fine. We've got again before we go too far folding door mirrors. I've 
trimmed the car down here so I, I know it drives good already but these uh, these test drives we do are uh, A to convince the customer that it, we have got the car it is driving perfectly and uh, anything that we find on the test drive which you wouldn't normally find on a, a sales checkover which is done at the garage basically on a ramp uh, we report to the garage and, and they investigate it so it's it's a twofold thing um, you know we have the car don't be frightened of leaving us a deposit over the phone just to hold it we will hold it till you come and see it and if you don't like it when you actually see it and drive it we'll give you we'll refund your deposit no questions asked lady that's not the thing to do you don't expect little grey-haired old ladies to do stuff like that. It's the 170 brake horsepower version, and I can tell you with the diesel engine, it's plenty of pull. I'm just going to have to turn this air con up a bit and uh, put it on my cameras. Sadly, it may create a, a bit of a whirring noise on the video, but uh, it's so hot today that the cameras will just shut off. So, we've got a six-speed gearbox. We've got electric windows, electric door mirrors, remote central locking. The electric window switches are here, four of them. You've got automatic headlights there on the right-hand side. We have cruise control here, which I'll show you as soon as we get on the motorway. And uh, as I say, a really good diesel engine, pulls away. Lots of low end torque. Nice and smooth to drive. It, it is a sporty ride. It's, uh, it's quite a, a hard ride. You can feel the road through the steering wheel but um, I suppose the FR has got the handling and uh, that's what you need it's a five door looks a little bit like a three door because the the rear handles are kind of part of the window and blend into the window The rear seats fold down, 60-40 split. I, I don't know what this chap's doing, it's, it seems to be going slower and slower. Why go in the outside lane if you're going to do that? Ah, I see now, he was in the wrong lane. There you see the, the low end grunt from the Seat just uh, accelerates from um, probably 40 miles an hour, just takes off without having to change down. Nice and quiet, no shakes on the steering wheel, no shakes through the foot pedal or vibrations anywhere when you're braking, all the brakes are good. Gearbox is uh, very slick. Steering and handling, very, very good. Nice click when it goes in gear. Something sliding about in there. So cruise control here on the left, indicators on the right there. You've got your automatic headlights here. In the center console there, just forward of the cup holder, there's a USB and an aux in socket. And 
bike sounds awesome. Bluetooth hands-free, CD radio, so one touch cruise there and uh, On the dash there you'll see my phone is connected to it and using this control on the right hand side so as your service status this says it needs servicing in 9400 miles and then your vehicle setup convenience lights time tires range we've got 60 miles and it tells you what um, source the audio unit is using. At the moment it's saying AUX in. I'll just try and show you going down the motorway here. Try and keep my, as long as there's no, nothing behind me. I'll just try and keep my speed down. Oh, there's something behind me. <laughs> we're, we're in third gear here. Third gear doing 40 miles an hour, coming onto the slip road. There's nothing coming. And you can just launch it. The good thing is, not only is it sporty, but it's economical as well. I think uh, six months road tax is £77, and uh, 12 months is 140 up to 64.2 miles per gallon. Room for four people in comfort and five people probably three of them squeezing in on the back seat. Right, so. So cruise, you click down there, that sets it. I assume you can, yes you can, you can accelerate using the top part of this little switch. We're doing 70 there in six gear at uh, 2,000 revs. Decrease the speed by just touching the bottom. in the caves back to dangerous levels. Just check the... All the windows are working. Rear wiper. That's better now, it's got some water on it. Front wipers all good, and the uh, oops. The colour is very, very nice. 
you see some colours these days and, and they're just awful and can only be a fad and probably in not the distant future uh, they will become a liability to dealers and uh, be worth a lot less. I, I myself can't understand why anybody would buy a car in a matte colour when you see a beautiful car like this glinting in the sunlight. Um, you know, and if you really did want a, a matte grey car, you could sand all the top coat off this and be left with a primer. Handles absolutely brilliantly. It's a slight touch of the steering wheel. It's a real driver's car, that's for sure. Hopefully we won't have any cars in front of us along this bit of country lane. So we're in third gear here. Got very long legs in third gear. As I was saying about colours before, you saw that one going the other way. Excellent on a Lamborghini, BMW, no. Also got silver backs on the draw mirrors, so that's quite a, a contrasty little touch to the car, to the exterior. Um, five spoke alloy wheels. This has the uh, oak brakes. For the life of me, I can't remember what they're called, but I did put them in the description. Uh, the, the 18 inch, not 17 inch, look a, a lot better. Finish the car off. Really enjoying driving this. Got another couple of cup holders here. Imagine you could virtually drive around in third gear. It just takes you from. Oh, I'll, I'll slow down. The car behind this guy's not going very fast in front. So we're in 
we're in third gear. The car's basically ticking over in third gear and it's still pulling. You try that with a, a petrol engine and now taking off. of low end torque. Cheaper than a Golf and uh, just as good. Lunch time, I'm not going back to the garage today. But in a, as soon as I get a chance to pull over, I'll show you how to uh, delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system and also pair your mobile. It doesn't stream audio, but you can plug in uh, your phone or an iPod to the uh, little USB socket down there or even the AUX in. See there, using this control here, showing my phone, click over, there you go, language, MFD data, convenience, lights and vision, time, winter tyres, units, service interval, factory settings, click over again, range and uh, miles, you've got far left, fuel gauge, then your little uh, trip computer and, and display, rev counter and then speedo on the right. Go to phone. You've got dial number, call register, voice mailbox, Bluetooth. Okay, while we're sat here at the traffic lights, I'll just show you how to delete uh, the phone. Hopefully, you'll be able to see from this camera. Um, so, from this button here, navigate to phone, click the down arrow, down till you get to Bluetooth, click OK on Bluetooth. You see user there, user, John's phone, click on that, connect arrow down, rename or delete, delete, OK. That's it, John's phone deleted. I'll just delete mine as well and then I'll show you how to pair it back.
We've also got reversing sensors. There you go. Okay, I'll just uh, show you once more how to delete a mobile. Your display is here and you can move through it like so. So onto phone, click the down arrow, phone book, dial number, call register, voice mailbox, Bluetooth, onto Bluetooth, okay. User, okay. Barry's iPhone, okay. Connect, disconnect, rename, delete, delete, okay. My, that's my phone deleted. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth system in this uh, set layout. First of all, make sure your phone's the right way up. Uh, then, into settings, into Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is on. On the dash there, in the instrument panel on the left hand side, click this arrow till you get to phone. Now, you've got phone search there. Click phone search, looking for mobile phones, please wait. Barry's iPhone, it's picked it up, so click OK. Password OK, one, two, three, four. Click OK. It should bring up a screen on here. One, two, three, four, pair. I don't want it to allow my contacts and favourites to sync, but you will. I won't be using this car again. Uh, no doubt you will if you've bought it. And it's saying on the dash, found new phone create user profile now you click OK there if that's okay so it, it's brought my phone up Barry's iPhone at EE now if there's more than I think it's four user profiles it won't allow you to do another one so you need to delete it delete one but th that's it um, it's, it's a good system and it's easy to use